All right, so the video you're gonna watch is going to be the January Idaho Drivers Association for sale auction. Um, I was able to do a walkthrough of the fur room, um, and we'll get we'll go ahead and get into at the end of the video. We'll get into kind of what some of my stuff sold for. Um, I didn't have a ton of stuff. Um, I was fairly happy with some of my things. Um, one of them, a couple of them, I was disappointed in, but. You know, it is what it is. Not really much I can do about it. Um, next season, my focus is going to be driven in another direction. So um, we'll go ahead and get into the video, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end. Uh, all we got. This is going to be my uh, 2023 January walkthrough. Um, first lot of coyotes bunch of good looking dogs some Arizona cats it's a lot of good looking cats it's a small one more coyotes pretty foxes Tail on that thing. Tommy's been uh, great every day. He does this just to be nice. He doesn't take any money or anything. Uh, we were just doing a uh, fur sale. Uh, fur buyer. More coyotes. I don't know how many is in this lot. I was in the whole bag since I got myself. I was just a little bit younger than me. 51. Yeah, 51. That first lot had 75. Two cats. Some pretty cats. These are big cats. George has been very good guy today. George has always been a supporter. Idaho cats. And always. And then this is my badger. My two coyotes that I caught. Two of the ones I put up. The other two I didn't get put up because they weren't very in very good shape. So <clears throat> more coyotes. That is a Wyoming cat. New Mexico cat. This one is like, <clears throat> I think this one's overstretched. Pretty sure they're gonna get knocked on that one. This guy is like super wide. <clears throat> More red foxes. I think they're so pretty. More bobcats. Lots of bobcats at this sale. That one's got some pretty spots. You guys, all the money that you spend here, you buy this merchandise with the Dales Association. So you're helping yourself. You're helping More coyotes. So remember that when you're buying this stuff. Nine and that lot. Pay that one more time to just go ahead. What the hell? More bobcats. These ones are. Lots of shells and how many stretches? Six stretches right there. I don't know. Twelve cats. I don't know what state they're from. It's like looks like it's got a Martin slash Bobcat. Maybe Montana. I'm sure. Pretty one. Got some long hair. My mine, mine's got really long belly fur, like that. <clears throat> Six. Two fishers. They got feet on them, too. Another cat. 
That one's overstretched too. There's four, four more fishers. Red fox. Swift fox. These things are so pretty. Well, not these. Maybe not these ones, but I think they're, I think they're a cool little fox. Look at those things. I really want to know what those come out to. Mm, a bunch of them. <laughs> White tip on that one. Oh, here's a cross. Cross fox. Not a whole lot of black in him. Some in the belly. Good fur though. Look at the tail on that guy. That is huge. Martins. things are pretty too. I want to get some of those. I think, yep, yeah, that's a wolf. Big wolf. Look at a giant coyote. 30 coyotes in this lot. I think the same lot. Red, more red foxes. A lot of red foxes. Badgers. They got claws. They left the feet on them. I, that's one thing I didn't do. I should have. I only left the front claws on, though, on that one. It's a pretty one, though. Really light. That one's got back feet, too. Left the feet on them, that's good. I think in the sun. <clears throat> that one's a good one too. I like the color. There's more pine martins. Boraxed them. There's two of them. Oh, look at those foxes. More coyotes. Another wolf. Another big gray wolf. Left the feet on them. I don't know if they left the feet on that other one. Check when I get over there. Some more cross foxes. Those are darker black than the other ones. More bobcats. These are Idaho cats. Nice, good. Left the feet on that one. Left the feet on that one too. That's a big one. I think he might be overstretched though. Another coyote, dark one. There's a burrs in it too. 
bobcat. It's a really light colored belly on that guy. He's, this one's overstretched. I can tell you that one's overstretched for sure. For a cat that size, he shouldn't have been stretched so wide. That is Montana. I don't know that's Montana for sure. There's no tag on this guy. Oh, Montana. All the tags down here. Put it through the nutsack. That one's pretty too. More coyotes. This is so the, all of these cats along this row are from the same guy who took Toplet Cat last year in the March sale. <clears throat> A bunch of big giant cats. They're all from, well, it's from Idaho. Idaho. Let's see where's that other wolf? It's over there. Okay. Left the feet on them. No, these ones here. Yeah, so from here that way are all that guy's cats. The one who had the top lot cat last year. The gorgeous cats. They're all out of Washington. That's a pretty one too. on this guy. Hey, freaking looks like a house cat. <laughs> a gorgeous bobcat. More cat. Look at that guy. Just absolutely beautiful. Lots of spots on that one. Call other boards, make boards right there. All staff. Somebody start with 10 bucks. 10 dollars. 10 dollars. 15 dollars. Pass that wolf. Now 30. 25 here. Now 30. Way down here. I don't even know if you left that feet on that wall. Yep, left the feet on. I'm curious what that's going to go for. Another single, single. Another single. It's more red fox. It's a dark colored one. Fishers. Twelve of them out of New York. Well, there's a bobcat under here too. Okay, now 65. Now 7 and a half. Like he's I want to get some of these next year. I think next year when I go up trapping coyotes, I think I'm going to set some Martin boxes. 
He's got gray hairs. A dozen one tenths. Colorado kind. Everything in the pile right there. Somebody's got $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20.
Some more wolves. Foxes. Beavers. Antlers. Some of the horn buyers are looking at these to buy them just to cut them off and sell them for the horn. A mink skull. Lion skull. This one looks like somebody found it. Found it, which is kind of cool. Got a bag of uh, like fox bones, mink, marten bones, number five, beaver bones. By the way, those are pecker bones. Got marten skulls. I want one of those for my collection. More foxes. These are. Just says foxes. I don't know. They look really small to be uh, reds. I think they're grays. Beaver skulls. Fox skulls raw. And fox feet. These are just feet that somebody cut off. Put in a bag. Coyotes, porky hair. I got some unique deer. These are caster. That's caster. More caster there. Look at that coming out above its eye. That pedicle runs all the way over here. This one, this is a really cool set. Sheds. Look at that thing. It's the one side. There's the other side. Imagine finding that. I'd lose my mind. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a ranch buck, though. A little spike. More beaver tails here. That is squirrel tails. Yeah, there's squirrel tails. <laughs> there's another pheasant. Somebody did. They don't quite look the same as that other one. This one, oh, this one's from the breast. That one came from the breast. The other one came from the back. Bag of pecker bones. Bush bones. Mary skulls and cat skulls. Mink. Raccoons. No skunk. That's a coon skull. There's some skunk skulls in there. That's what that is. And your cats. Fox skulls. This is a whole. This is a whole black bear. Like, it's the the whole hide black bear hide raw for a rug probably. But you got mink, mink, coyote, fox, bobcat, some muskrat tails. Bobcat, beaver, otter, muskrat, mink, that is a beaver, otter, beaver, mink, pedicle, the pedicle bones like for belt buckles and stuff, another lion, caster, porky hair, porky hair, that's a bear, another bear, brown bear, a brown black bear. Goat, a goat skull. Looks like there's mountain lion hide. That's raw. Bear skull. This is really cool. This is a Kudamundi. Um, I guess this one came out of Arizona. see these things very often they had them at the last sale but this one's uh frozen whole 
And then, uh, yeah, it looks like badgers. Those are bobcat feet, badger feet, badger feet, caster, caster, more badger feet, more porky hair, bear skull. It's a good looking bear skull. Another bear. Some more beaver tails. Let's see. Coyotes. Rats. Skunks. Mink. Beaver. I think these are beavers. Yeah, beavers. Muskrats. Those were uh, those were done by beetles. And just you can tell just by the color. Porky hair. Those rats were cleaned. More cleaned rats. There's a javelina skull. That's kind of cool. It took looks like they took the teeth and the teeth fell out of it, but the warthog skull. No tusks in it though. Missing the teeth and everything. I probably won't sell for much. We got bobcats. And then three lions. This one got shot in the head. Looks like that one did too. Yep, shot right through the brain. 22. That one was probably shot with a pistol. I don't know. Bigger pistol. Bear. Wolf. Coyote. Wolf. 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 Coyote. Mountain lion. Bear. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's the whole mount. Buffalo head. Antelope heads. Then coyote skulls, coyote feet, bobcat claws. What that is? Skunk essence. Yeah, let's leave that back, that box alone. Porky hair, bear skull, bear skull. See, warthog skull. That does not look like a warthog. That says warthog. That is not a warthog skull. That is a regular pig skull. And then you get into the the grease furs. And so we got we got coons. definitely wide. I asked one of the buyers on mine and um, he said I over, or mine were too wide. They were stretched too wide. I need to squeeze down my stretchers a little bit. Otters. These are Idaho otters. Yeah. That one's caught with a 330. Badger. Beavers. They left the tails on these ones. Check that out. Kind of cool. Such a big thing. I have a little of detail. And the mink. More mink. Muskrats. Those are stretched on wire stretchers. Those look good. More rats here. These are cool. Round rats with the tail on. <laughs> Looks like a stingray. 
Like they're all, like there's 10 of them, 12 of them. 11. Skunk. Fur out. Skunk fur in. Mink. That one was stretched really thin. These ones are stretched really wide. It's crazy. Black bear. I think this is just the. Yeah, no head, no feet, just the fur. Like. Beaver. Whole porcupines. I think there's three of them. Yeah, three. More, more beaver. on that thing I got some that are like that they didn't make it to the sale they uh yeah and the bag I got a 25 dollar bag to start with I need 30 30 now 35 got a 5 dollar 75 35 now 40 40 dollar bag I got 35 got a few rats and a couple coyotes elk mill Otters. Foxes in with fur in. They don't normally do that. Normally they're fur out. I think that's why these guys are in wet and grease for. These are nutria. These beavers are absolutely gorgeous. These ones are really good, really pretty, really big, well furred. Fifty two rats in this bunch. Beavers, a couple otters, a couple mink. Oh, one otter and a couple mink. Okay, what am I selling? Okay, I got twenty five and I need thirty. Thirty dollars, but look at all the fishing boats. Yes, at 35, 35, dollars I think these ones are tan or actually tanned. But they don't say they're tan. Now 40, 40, now 45. Now 50, 50, now I'm 50, 50, now I'm 50. All you people can bid. Some of your kids got, guys got kids. They'll fit fishing poles too. Nothing better than fishing poles with kids. All the antlers. All moose. My antler. These are all sold by the pound. Um, let's see. More antlers. Elk antlers. A pile of old moose and elk and deer. Old white chalky stuff. This freaking thing is huge. Look at the freaking royal of them. Like. Like the mass on this thing. It's just insane. It's a huge bull. Goes over the same way. Hey, let's give him a hand for these kids going fishing. All right, let's see. We got mounts. Okay, just come up. Come up here. 
more mounts. All right, and okay, we're on my fur now. This is one of my badgers. This is my uh, roadkill badger. My uh, black, blacker outer fur fur out mink. And then I had my some of my mink that I'm selling. I did actually get that mink sent off to um, Moyles for Judith and Dan, so that one will come back in a few. Some of my my coons, not the best. Not the best stretch or best well taken care of, but I did what I could. I mean, yeah. 21 rats. This is my small slot. These are my small rats. And there are 16 of my damaged, what I considered my damaged rats. Like this guy lost the whole rat, whole back end. This guy was messed up. It's kind of sad because my, my biggest... My biggest one out of all of these, not that one, this one. I big, end up with a big old hole in the belly. It's the biggest rat I've ever caught. It's huge. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, this guy had uh, salt, got salt on him and had that hole, so I put him in my damage. My damaged pile. So, but yeah, these, these aren't all the best. And then you got my my big, big good rats. These are what all of these guys are. So, I don't think I did too bad on them. Asked the buyers about it, and they said everything looked great. Only thing was is um, that one coon. They said don't do fur out. They can still look at the fur regardless, and then um, leave the claws on the badgers. So my beavers, all my beavers are early beavers, so they're not as uh, fluffy as some of the ones over there. But yeah. So mink, bunch of mink, 45 mink in this lot, a lot of mink, just two muskrats in this one, they look good though, I think that was probably, this guy sent these just to see what he was going to get for them, otters, these coons look great, like these coons are freaking awesome, they're huge, like really thick, thick fur on them. Like super, super thick fur. And then it comes to, I'm not trying to down anybody or dog on anybody. It comes to what not to do. And you can tell these are just... I wouldn't be surprised if these ones didn't sell. These are over, over flesh and they're old, old. Yeah, they just disintegrated. Like the the hide itself is disintegrating. I would, I wouldn't be surprised if these ones didn't sell. But good looking beaver, nice and thick. This is like my. One, the ones I got at home are really, really thick beavers like that. There's six. More rats. Ermine. There's no fur on that. All the furs are gone on the inside of that. Huh. Mm -hmm. These are cool little spotted skunks. 
They also call them uh, civet cats. They don't get they're really, really small skunks. But coon out with claws, so he's got the feet. Single beaver. One mink. Well, these guys left the claws on, left the feet on them. Beavers. Sixty six coons in this lot. I wonder why some of them are narrower than the others. Badgers. These are all single lotted badgers. All the badgers are single lotted. They don't look bad. They're, uh, yeah. Nice and pale. A lot paler than mine. More rats. More rats and last coons. And that would be the entire fur sale. Um, get a photo for the. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so um, that was kind of my walkthrough of the Idaho Trappers Association. Uh, fur sale. I was a little disappointed in the amount of fur that was there. Um, I was kind of hoping that, you know, it was going to be another big sale, but with the prices down, people don't want to trap, people don't want to waste the money. Um, I'm going to trap regardless of prices. Um, like I said, I'm trapping coons, I'm trapping other, th or I'm trapping, uh, not coons, I'm not focusing on coons, but I'm trapping coyotes, even though the prices are down. Um, I was fairly happy with what I got for my coyotes. Um, I only brought two coyotes in. Uh, for both of them, I got uh, thirty nine twenty five for both for both uh, coyotes, uh, which gave me an average uh, nineteen sixty two for each. Um, <clears throat> the one I got in October was a much much better dog, so I know that one got a higher price than the one that I got um, a couple weeks ago in January. Um, it just wasn't as good of a dog. It was it was thicker, yes, but the guard hairs weren't there. Um, that one that I got in January was just a big, fluffy, you know, full, full coyote. So I know I got a, a better price on that one versus um, the other one, but I had them together in a lot. So that was where my uh, 1962 was my average between the two of them. So, um, but I'll go from the top of the list to the bottom. Um, I had one badger that I had trapped. I never actually even showed you guys that one. Um, I caught him on in a foothold on a drag and didn't didn't even didn't dig or nothing. I must have caught him that morning. Um, anyways, I got uh, thirty eight forty three for that one. Uh, it was a decent badger. Um, you actually probably saw it. It's the one that was fur out. Um, my fur in badger, which is the other one, um, that one went for 2643. Um, I think it would have went for a little bit better had I done, um, had I done that one fur in or fur out. Um, that was actually the one that I picked up as a roadkill. So, um, can't complain about that one. Um, my three mink that I had, um, went for a total of $25, which is $8 and 33 cents a piece. Um, little disappointed in that one but i know they're they're wild mink they're not they're not those big ranch mink so those big ranch mink are what call the the best prices <laughs> um i did kind of get chastised by one of the buyers because i had asked him about um you know how my fur was stuff like that um he asked me why i did my next one which is the fur out coon um, which I told him, you know, it was a, a darker coon, it was a blacker coon. I wanted to show that that fur was there, and he said, well, you don't need to do that. Um, that coon did end up getting $4.02. Um, 
So um, my next lot was my eight coons and um, they went for eight coons total went for 5809 uh, which gave me an average price of seven dollars and 26 cents so um, had I done that other one for in maybe I would have gotten a better price um, I don't really know but that other one that was for out was a roadkill coon so I can't really complain I didn't really do anything for it I just drove by um, I broke my rats up into three different lots. Um, I broke them up to my large rats, my medium small rats, and then I did a, a damaged lot. So ones that had holes in the bellies or scars, or I had one that um, I dropped on my floor down in my fur room, which has, uh, I have salt on the floor for some of the things that I've, I salt dried and stuff. And um, there was a couple of those in there. Um, so the first lot is my small lot or my small, my small to medium lot. Um, and it had 21 rats in it. And the price that I got for that lot was forty six fifty, um, which gave me a price, an average price of $2 and 21 cents per rat. The rats are the only thing that I was kind of disappointed in. Um, I was hoping for at least $3.00. Um, on some of them, but I didn't get that. Uh, next lot was 16 rats, which this was my damaged rat lot. Um, that whole lot went for 37.11, with an average price of um, two dollars and 31 cents. Sorry, I'm reading it off of here. I don't remember it all all that well. Uh, my next rat or my next lot was my large rats, uh, large to XL rats. Um, they went for four, there were 45 rats in that lot. Uh, that lot went for $119, which gave me an average price of $2.64. Um, I still say that rats are better, better money than, uh, raccoons. You know, the time, the time that you put into them, things like that. Um, I can make a little bit more money per rat than I can a raccoon. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. Uh, my next lot, my next two lots are my beavers. Um, broke those up into small beavers and large beavers. Um, my first lot only had three. I only had three beavers that I would that I considered small. Uh, that lot went for uh, thirty dollars and nine cents, which gave me an average price of ten dollars and three. Um, my large beavers and blanket. Uh, Blanket beavers went, there were eight of those. Um, I only had 11 beavers total. I do have some more in the freezer. And I had um, the three that I caught on my bobcat line, I had, they're still downstairs drying. They didn't make the, they didn't dry up in time. So I didn't want to take them still with anything raw on them. Um, those ones are very, very good beavers. Uh, they're, they're, they're not overly big, but they're, the fur on them is amazing. So I didn't want anything to ding me as far as my price goes. Um, that lot of eight beavers went for $216, which gave me an average price of $27. Um, can't say I'm, I'm not disappointed in that one. I am a little bit on the smaller ones that I had, but you know that's why I broke them up because I wanted to see those differences between my large beavers and my small beavers. Um, and my last one that I had was um, caster. I had one pound, five ounces of caster. And it went for $55.22. Um, I didn't break that down to what I got per pound. I think it was 40, ended up being like $44 a pound is what my price was per uh, for my caster, which was a little disappointing. Um, last year I got 90, $97 a pound for my caster. And I had a little over two pounds of caster. Um, I do know that the caster that I brought this time wasn't all the best. Um, I did have some moisture issues come up um, in my fur room and the, the spot that I store my fur. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of what the way it all ended up. Uh, my grand total was, um, for all of that, was $695, which I'm not going to complain. Um, you know, it works out. It uh, works out, you know, pretty well for me. Um, my, I'll pay my commission once my check gets in and, um, yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm going to take a week off of bobcat trapping. 
Um, I'm gonna have one more check. I did a check yesterday, um, which is the, which was the last day of the sale. I found out all my prices. Um, I didn't have anything. There's not really much to put in that video. I had um, it was really really late, and I was just in a big hurry, trying to get all my traps checked before dark. <coughs> um, so I've got one check that I will do on Wednesday. That's going to be my three day mark, and. Um, Yeah, it, it, um, yeah, sorry. Um, I got one check I'm gonna do on Wednesday. I'm just gonna snap everything off for about a week and um, I'm gonna move. I might set some stuff uh, not too close or not too far from the house here. So I've just got some, some little traps to check, but you know, um, I spent a little too much. That's first sale, not gonna lie. So uh, I ended up not having the money for gas, so. Uh, we're just going to set everything off for a week um, and get back at it uh, next. Not this coming Wednesday. It'll not be then. It'll be probably next Thursday, maybe Friday. Um, not this coming one, but the one after that. I'm going to lose a little bit of time. I know that, um, but you know, like I said, I spent a little too much, and I can't. I got to wait till I get paid again. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for coming with me on my adventure, and uh, please like and subscribe, and you guys have a great day. Later.